Hey, what's up guys, Mario, back again with our YouTube video. Today's video, I am gonna talk about Ethermon. Now, I've made videos before on how to catch free Ethermon NFTs, and also how to train your Ethermon, how to become a trainer and level them up so you can sell them for a higher price. Now, in this video, I'm gonna go step by step on how to sell your Ethermon NFTs on open seas. Now, regarding the other topics, I have posted videos here on the, on the top of this link to kind of go over all those steps. But in this video, I will show you guys step by step on how to sell your Ethermon that you've been training for a while, that you caught, that you got for free, and it is an NFT, and you can sell on OpenSea, and I will go over all those steps in details. So you can sell them for Ethereum, which is a cryptocurrency, uh, that of course you can convert that to US dollars, to whatever other currency they country you live in, doesn't matter. So I'll show you guys those details. So if you have any questions, guys, don't forget to ask them below, down below in the YouTube comments. And also don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. Let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? So what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna quickly share my screen, guys. Um, and what I'm gonna go over first, I'm gonna show you guys, this is the Ethermon website. I've already logged in using my MetaMask account. Now, what I want to show you guys is my collection of my Ethermont NFTs. Now, these Matic NFTs are on-chain uh, Ethermont NFTs, which I could sell on OpenSea. Uh, and again, all the information on how to get these for free are in my other videos. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to sell your ones, your Ethermont for free, on uh, how to sell your Ethermont on OpenSea. Now, like I mentioned before, I have been training my Ethermont. I have been training on this battle uh, arena, and I've been in, in this uh, in this in this pretty much uh, this this competition or this uh, this this uh, the level one to thirty uh, battle competition. So if you go to enter now, you guys will see the team that I've been using. This is my team. I've been using this Snobbit, which is level twenty three. Again, originally was at level one, uh, and I moved it to level twenty three. I've been uh, training this. Um, this Hampress level, again, originally level one, now is level 20. Now this Omnon, uh, it was level one, but again, this is an off-chain Ethermon, which I cannot sell on OpenSea, but I could sell these two because they're both Matic Ethermon. Now, what I'm gonna do, guys, now I'm gonna go to uh, OpenSea and show you guys where you could, uh, these two Ethermons that I wanna sell. So uh, here is my actual OpenSea, uh, Ethermon account. I have all the Ethermons. The Ethermons that I showed you guys earlier are pretty much all here. These are all NFTs which I could turn around and sell, guys. So uh, the first one uh, that I that actually that I was showing you guys, not I named it Snobby Cloudy. I made the mistake I have I put in the same name for the same Ethermon. That's a mistake, guys. Always have different names for each Ethermon, even though it's the same uh, species. Uh, definitely keep, make, make sure you put a different name so you don't confuse them. But this is the one that I've been training. And I'll show you guys right now. I named the Snobby Cloudy. And the way to know which one it is, what, what, which Ethermon it is, the one that I was showing you earlier, is by looking at the levels. Uh, if you guys can see, off chain level is 23. And if you go back to the, uh, again, this is the uh, Ethermon website. Again, you can see the level 23, the one that I've been training. Now, one thing I want to mention, guys, is that there's an off-chain level and an on-chain level. On-chain level, you are able to level up your Ethermon battling on the Ethermon website in 2D, uh, which is right here. On-chain level, which is right here. See this? On-chain level, which is the level one. You level up your Ethermon by battling them on the central land on the central line, which you can actually do through here. See where it says uh, 3D battles in a while? Uh, if you click here, it will show you in how, where areas you could battle. And again, I go over all those details on my previous videos, which I will link in top, guys. So don't forget to click on those. You guys could look at that. But I've been only battling them on, on uh, off-chain on the Ethermon website in 2D. So here you can see I have it on level 23. Uh, so let's put it for sale. So it's on level 23. So actually the question is, you know, how much should I sell this Ethermon for? Uh, again, it's level 23, option level 23, which took me a while to get to that level. 
Um, the way to do it is by looking what other ethermines have been sold. So these are some ethermines that recently sold. And the way to do that is, of course, to type in ethermon. Once you type in ethermon, you know, you click on it. Uh, and again, this is OpenSea, which is the marketplace to sell, buy and sell all types of uh, NFTs. Uh, so what, what I do next, I click it and uh, pretty much um, here, it's already pretty much already there. Uh, but you could actually even sell a uh, highs less sale, you know, so you could, just to kind of get an idea of what some of these uh, Ethermont NFTs have sold in the past. If you guys could see, this one sold for 9.39 Ethereum, which is a pretty substantial amount of money. Right now, Ethereum is going for like $2,000 per one Ethereum. So 9.39 times around two thousand dollars that's let's talk about eighteen thousand dollars so yeah this is legit stuff guys so um you know it's pretty insane guys so uh, i'm just gonna go over these are these, these have sold a while ago um uh, and some of the highest so, last sale uh but i want to go to recently sold so if i click on recently sold you guys will see some hampers uh this is the same and actually some uh snob it. Uh, some of the ones that have sold, and this is how much it have sold. This sold was 0 0.00003 Ethereum. Uh, this one sold for 0 0.00001 Ethereum. And actually, this one sold for 0 0.001 Ethereum, but is now selling for 0 0.0005 Ethereum, and they're putting it in the market. Uh, but one thing I want to quickly mention, guys, if you look at the levels, you'll notice that this one sold, uh, again, actually, here's the price. Uh, for 0 0.0001 Ethereum from a Pokemon Go Hunter to this, uh, this, this, uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, a player, you guys could say, um, and it sold for 0 0.0001. Uh, but again, it has off-chain levels of one and on-chain level one. So it looks like it did not train it. So I have trained mine and I want to sell for higher. You know, uh, he, you know right now he's, he's selling it for, you know, 0 0.005, which is equivalent to around a dollar. Um, but, you know, I, I noticed that some people are selling some for 0 0.005, you know, and they put it in the marketplace. Uh, you know, if you guys can see, uh, let me see which one is sold, selling right now for 0 0.00. See, this one's 0 0.05 and last sold is 0 0.009. So, you know, I'm going to put my for 0 0.05 as well just to see what happens. You know, it doesn't hurt. Um, and let's see what happens. So the way you do it is once you click on the Ethermon that you want to sell, there is this button right here uh, that you will put on sell, click sell, and then you put the amount. So if I put 0 0.05, which is Ethereum, we're talking about Ethereum, it's equivalent right now of around $112.25. So, hey, you know, it's a, tw a level 23, off-chain level 23, it doesn't hurt. I mean, I could sell it for more. I could sell it for 0 0.01, which is 200 equivalent around $224. I could sell it for 0 0.05, which is around $1,000. Um, but hey, you know what? I'm going to put it for 0 0.5. I don't know if it's going to sell. May or may not sell. I don't know if anybody's list interested, but hey, why not? You know, I'm going to put it out for 0 0.5. Uh, I know I'm selling it for, for more, but hey, from all the either amount that I've seen out there, nobody has actually, uh, a lot of them are not training them. So I'm cool with that, you know, we'll see what happens, you know? So I'm gonna put complete listing, click on complete listing. And to complete your listing, follow the steps, uh, these, these steps, submit transaction with your wallet to unlock trading for this collection. This only needs to be done once. Your wallet. Okay. So I got to click on lock and then sign in. Okay. So I'm using my, my a MetaMask wallet to unlock. So they're able to, again, sell that, uh, the NFT, the Ethermont NFT. So it says submit a transaction with your wallet to unlock trading for this collection. This only needs to be done once. So pretty much by doing this, it allows, uh, allows uh, OpenSea to pretty much sell my Ethermon. So let's wait for this. It's kind of loading. You kind of have to wait for that. Uh, so let's wait for this to kind of complete loading and then we'll see what happens. Okay. 
All right. So unlock trading. So trading has been unlocked. Submit a transaction with your wallet to trade with this currency. This only needs to be done once. So I got to click unlock. And again, I'm using my, my, uh, my e e uh, MetaMask wallet. So let's wait on that and let's see what it does. So let's just keep waiting. So of course this may take a, a, a while guys. So you're unlocking for trading and you're locking for currency. Uh, so you can be able to get some currency and then <clears throat> we'll see what it goes next. And then it says sign message, sign a message using your, your wallet to, conti to continue. And I close our, my guys, I click uh, sign and let's see what, what we get. And then I click sign again, again, using all using my MetaMask wallet, which is connected to it. What we listed Snobby Cloudy. All right. So, you know, the cruel thing about this is that I could share it. Uh, I could share that I'm putting out for sale on Twitter. So why not? I'm going to click on Twitter here. I do have a Twitter account. You will need to log in in before you can share on Twitter. Oh, I need to log in. Um, let me see. I have another. Uh, actually, let me see. What if I, what if I copy link address? Cause I have actually I'm already logged in using paste and go on this tab over here. There you go. So check out my NFT listing on OpenSea and I'm going to tweet it. See what people say. Updates are policies. Okay. And I'm going to tweet it. So I just tweeted it. Check out my NFT listing on OpenSea. And that's pretty much it, guys. So now I not only did I post it already on OpenSea, I've already tweeted it out. So all my followers know about this listing, which is pretty cool. And I could also do it on Facebook. And I believe this is, I'm not sure which one this is, but I already did it on Twitter. And that's it, guys. So as of now, you can see I am uh, selling uh, Snobby Cloudy uh, for 0 0.5 Ethereum. Uh, and yep, and that begins the listing. And we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Now, uh, I'm going to put, oh, I'm also going to put another one. So I'm going to go back to my, my and my profile my collection so and actually the cool thing is uh here my favorite hidden in created uh let me see i've created collection activity see it's my my activity look at if you go to activity here i'll show you what i've done i see i put it for sale um and see two minutes ago and here I'll see any offer. So if anybody offers me anything, we'll see. So I put it in for sale and we'll see what happens. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna, I wanna go back to my collection again. And also Hamster is the other Ethermon NFT that I've been leveling up. If I go to levels again, you will see on chain, or is, excuse me, off chain, off chain level 20. And if I go back to, to my Ethermon and I click on this, this uh, competition from level one to 30, you'll see, yes, yeah, see, option level 20. Uh, and it's pretty much this one that I've been battling and, and leveling up. So I'm gonna again, put it up for sale guys. I'm gonna again, I'm gonna put this, this hamster, I named it hamster. Uh, and I'm very happy that I, all my hamperous type of Ethermon, I, I gave them a different name. So, hey, I'm gonna put it for sale. Put sale, I'm gonna put zero, actually 0.5 Ethereum, you know, and uh, complete listing. And actually one thing I wanna mention guys that when you do sell your Ethermon, um, their OpenSea has a 2.5% fee and 3% royalty fee. Uh, create a royalty. So actually the cool thing is that every time I sell this, I will get a percentage of it, which is pretty cool. And it will never end, which is really, really nice. So every time somebody buys it, I get a percentage of it, which is really, really cool. So 
so royalty fee meaning that every time this keeps selling because i created i caught this one so every time it keeps selling whoever buys it and it keeps selling and selling again i will get a three percent every time it sells which is amazing guys so i'm selling for 0.5 ethereum um i'm going to complete the listing um again i've already done this once and i believe i have to do this again again going through the process see i only have to do it once now so uh wood, wood hamster i am going to share this again copy link address i'm going to do it this again and i'm going to post it on twitter as well and maybe some people look at it we'll see what happens so i'm going to tweet it so i tweeted both uh snobby cloudy and hamster on twitter that i'm pretty much selling it so let me go to my where is my profile tweets here yep here it is i'm selling my hamster and i'm selling my snobbit my, so i can name this cloud snobbit cloudy and then i sell uh, i'm selling i named this uh, hampers snobbit all right guys so that's pretty much it guys um you know and again, actually, just to kind of show you guys, if I were to go back to uh, my collection, actually not my collection, my profile, and I go to activities, you'll see here that I just put in this for sale, these two for sale. So we'll see what happens, guys. We'll see what happens, guys. So um, I hope all this makes sense, guys. All these videos are for learning entertaining purposes. Again, if you have any questions about this, don't forget to ask me down below in YouTube comments. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting videos every single week uh, when it comes down to NFTs, Ethermon, uh, Bitcoin, uh, stocks, or some people call it uh, stonks. So crazy momentum stocks. So if you have any, uh, if you want to interested in all that kind of stuff, Please subscribe to this channel, guys. I'll be posting a lot more videos about that. All right, guys? You guys will see from me soon. Have a good one, guys.